JT, start with the pass right before halftime for the touchdown and momentum. And Neil said you saw a different coverage there that they hadn't shown. What did you see? What was the what was the counter to? Oh, that was big. Uh, you know, much needed, uh, huge momentum swing. Uh, two minutes left in the half. They were, we were down seven, seven three. All right, we go down. Good drive, kick the field goal. Defense shuts them down, and then we go out with you know, 55 on the clock, and we go to score a big two minute drive at the end of the half. Um, and the half drives are almost huge, it helped me a lot, you feel great going in the locker room and did. Uh, and then the play specifically, which is the Tampa 2, um, which they have, they haven't run very much this year, but they do run in, in uh, two minute situations when offense needs to throw the ball. Uh, and I talked to Sam before the play, because you know, he, he, he had that inside seat for now. I told him if he's looking for the inside seat cover, he's going to attack the mic, you know, get him down the middle, and that's exactly what happened with that. Do you guys expect to be able to run the ball the way you did today? I always do. I think we're very physical, uh, you know, ever since, you know, since I've been here. Uh, just the way that this team works, especially up front, led by Frazier. Um, and with a whole host of great running backs, and I expect to run like that every time. Uh, you know, I think they are a great guy. As a quarterback, does that change your mindset just as far as managing the game, knowing the defense is playing great, knowing that you're bleeding the clock that way? No, you, you, you love it when you get to do that. You know, you, I really don't think about it, uh, just like when I keep going on. Okay? Uh, it means I can take this drive off and you know, can never do a drive like that. Uh, but it, but it, it, it definitely, you notice it, you feel a lot better when defense is getting stopped after stopped after stopped. Play first half and then second half and the offense is rolling. Do you make certain adjustments to their defense? Do you figure, see certain things to figure out with their defense? Or we'll cut that offense kind of clicking at that point? I think I, I really feel like we were clicking the whole time. Uh, the first round, we had a three and out. Uh, but after that, you know, we went 90 yards, uh, got stopped in the red zone. He was driving again, he just fumbled, drove again, got a field goal, drove again, got a touchdown. Um, I, I think, in general, the only thing we, we really needed that we didn't have today was red zone execution. We ended up in the red zone, and I think we feel a lot different offensively for three, four red zone, four, three, four touchdowns. But in general, I think we just kept doing the same thing over and over again, and uh, we executed. How did you feel the communication was today, especially with you know, the crowd noise and the atmosphere? Around the How was communication for you guys on offense? It was phenomenal. There was uh, they, they, it helped having the pit game, uh, you know, that was allowed to. Uh, helped having that with uh, uh, working out the kinks. You know, the kinks in the first two drives of pit. Uh, crowd noise wasn't an issue after that. You know, kind of roll off of that. It was the same way. We do a lot of practice to prepare for it. But in general, uh, I mean, you don't really notice it too much. JT, the, the fourth downward, you made our jumps, you back up, it, it could have been like a now now, one of those moments, right? And a totally different outcome for you guys, too. That, that feel like indicative of the growth you guys are trying to make and the mistakes you're trying to prevent or overcome? Yeah, and that wasn't even on James. That was uh, me, Frazier. That, that, that was really all up front. Um, you know, that, that was one time where being loud does hurt. Um, but for, it was more miscue on Frazier and I getting under center at the right time. Um, so that's not, that's not even on one person. That's just a, a all around up front. You know, just something we got to clean up and execute. Uh, and yeah, like, but those are drive killers that can be. small things like that that you know, they can change the outcome of the game. You were kind of uh, critical a little bit after the, after the Kansas game with some of the mistakes. They have gone away last game, whatever, but not really there today. Can get in the way of stuff too. Do you see growth collectively as a team that people took it seriously and here you are even now, not even two weeks later? Yeah, well, I mean, we, we consistently have and uh, as I said, we, we moved the ball against everybody really, really well. Uh, and it was just those small things. And I guess that's that, that's an example of some of the dumb shit I talked about uh, after Kansas, but in general, um, I think over the last two weeks we've done a much better job of cleaning it up. You know, it's towels and I don't get any drive kill penalties or did, did anything dumb. Uh, and this week there was very few of it. We gotta execute a little better in the red zone, but we didn't we didn't shoot ourselves. You said about the job the offensive line before the fast um, yeah. Um, we had uh, you know as much time as we did as a team that lost pressure a lot.
This is your first taste of this rivalry. A, what's it like to lift a trophy up in the middle of the season and then just, if you can, compare this, this atmosphere, this game, to some other rivalry games you've been in? Uh, it, it's awesome. Yeah, it's awesome to play for a trophy. Uh, it was fun. Uh, you know, we have this situation. Um, compared to a full rivalry, like the, the environment in general felt you know, kind of pit esque where it's, uh, it, it's loud, it's personal. Um, you know, especially when it goes to the side of the All right, that's it. Thank you very much.